Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, you wake up, you go to your computer, and you notice it's not working quite right. It was fine yesterday, but today it's slow or it's unstable, or programs aren't working, or it just seems to not respond pretty much at all. So, what can you do? Well, in Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows XP, there's a facility called System Restore. Windows actually takes snapshots of your computer every once in a while and stores them. So in case something happens to your computer, you can go pretty much back in time as far as your computer goes and restore it to when it was working fine. I have a video here from our friends at Easy PC Fix that's going to show you exactly what to do to restore your computer if it's acting badly. Take a look. Hi there, Dave here. In this video I'm going to explain how to restore a computer back to a previous time and date using Windows 7 System Restore. I'd just like to quickly explain what System Restore actually does before we get started. Every now and then Windows will automatically take a snapshot of your computer. These snapshots are known as restore points. If you've installed a program or driver that's causing problems, or if your computer has suddenly started acting slow or unstable, or a program has stopped working properly or at all, or you've changed a setting and don't know how to change it back, using a restore point can often cure all of these problems by restoring the computer back to a previous state. By the way, System Restore will not remove any personal files such as photos, emails, music, videos, documents and so on. It may uninstall a program or driver that has been recently installed though, which can be a good thing if that program or driver is causing problems. So here's how to use System Restore. Click on Start. All Programs. Accessories. System Tools System Restore You will now see one of two windows. If you see this window or one similar to this, click on Choose a different restore point, then click Next. If instead you see this window, just click on Next. Now click in the box next to Show More Restore Points to see all available restore points. Choose a time and date that you would like to roll your computer back to. If you want to, you can click on Scan for Affected Programs to see if any programs will be affected by using the restore point you've selected. Now click on Next. In this box here it says, if you have changed your Windows password recently, we recommend that you create a password reset disk. In other words, if you roll your computer back to a time when you had a different Windows password, your existing password may no longer work. So if you have changed your Windows password recently, click on Create a Password Reset Disk and follow the on-screen instructions. If you don't need to create a reset disk, or once you're done doing so, click on Finish. Do you wish to continue? Once you click on Yes, your computer will automatically restart. Once your computer has finished implementing the restore point and has restarted, it will show a message like this one. Once this appears, click on Close. If the problem that you were having has gone, then you're done. But if this hasn't had the desired effect that you wanted, you can either go through the same process again, 
but this time select the most recent undo to get you back to where you started from. Or, alternatively, you could try using a different restore point. Perhaps go back further in time to see if that will help. System restore can be very useful and can be the solution to many computer problems. Obviously it can't solve every problem such as hardware failures and some software problems but it's free and it can often save you hours of frustration. So that's it for this video. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.